one tonight we talk about a classic fucking movie growing up. Um, the Devil Rides Out. And this was called the Hammer Collection. Uh, one of the four, one of the four, 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 I think four or five discs I have in this movie from Collected. <coughs> and um, but the Devil Rides Out. I, I actually grew up watching this years ago. I'm trying to remember how I watched it, but I remember this was like one of my favorite movies when it comes to the satanic origin here. You know, and the Devil Rides Out was was really good. Um. The Devil's Daughter, the, To the Devil's a Daughter, that one sucks. I know even though Christopher Lee was in it, but it's just that movie was just horrible, and please do not add that movie with this movie. Even though the guy who wrote the book for it also wrote these two movies, but, but he didn't wrote the movie, but he wrote the book, and the movie was based on, um, Den I think, Dennis Wheatley's book. And um, let me just tell you a funny trivia. I just went, I went on Wikipedia on this one. The movie that I didn't like to adult was a daughter, and a lot of people would not even have the courage to admit that that movie was horrible. But it, it was just like it was like something I, I, I feel like that something was messed up about that movie to adult was a daughter. And I, I realized the guy that wrote the original novel for the book, he said he never liked that movie. And when he said the movie was not even based on his book correctly, he told Hammer not to make a movie out of his book never ever again. So guess what? I shouldn't be surprised. But hopefully, you know, if a movie needs a remake, it should be to a devil's a daughter. But I feel the devil rides out. This is an awesome movie. And also, we're on Wikipedia on this one, too. I hope it's fully well, like this would be remade with, with newer special effects. But I thought this movie was good as is. But it would be cool to have a sequel to it. Or uh, if they do a remake on this one, yeah, it would be cool to have Christopher Lee in it and a younger cast. But with, see how the special effects is. I kind of agree with Christopher Lee on it. But to me, if they, if not, that's even better because, like I said, this movie's awesome. The Devil Rides Out, again, if you're a fan of Satanic Genius, you know what you're going to get. But at least this movie, spoiler, spoiler, does have a happy ending. Because most of these Satanic Genius horror movies, they usually, most cases, do not have a happy ending. Where pretty much the obvious ending, the devils always win. Satan won again. But this movie proves you wrong, and I, I really do like this one. Um, let's get to the point. Um. Two good friends went to visit their friend, right? And realized their friend didn't care for a reunion. They found their friend is actually a part of a satanic cult, you know? And the old, one of the friends played by Christopher Lee, and he, the third friend, he raised him like a son because his father, I think he mentioned that his father died. So he looked to, to, his, to his third friend like a son that he is responsible for him. And when he found he's practicing black magic, and you know what, let me just say something. If they do remake this movie, I like to know how Chris Lee's character knew about black magic, how he knew of this concept of it and what's going on. Because in the story, in this movie, it mentions that how Chris Lee like realized that he's his friends practicing black magic. And you've been wondering how this guy knew about this all this time. You know, because if they do a remake, maybe they could do like a prequel backstory to his character. Who knows? Um, but anyway, he founds that out. He told us, right, you know, I want you out of this circle, I don't want you to be part of this. You know, so he pretty much like knocked him out like in a way and said, like, yo, let's we go get get out of this house. And then the leader who who like who's the devil worshipper, the old man, realized that one of his followers has been kidnapped and he wants to get him back to his circle, you know. So but also later on, um, Chris Felix had to find out we need to find out the name, how how to like pretty much put out to stop this guy, you know, like trying to get um his friend back to his circle. And there was a woman that one of the one of the three fr friends knew about that he saw her like in a like in a hotel like or a bar I think. So so the, the Chris Lee's character tell his friend you know get her move away from the house and maybe you can find some information about what's going on. And they went to the Chris Lee's character and his friends went to another friend's house where they could hide out there. And then later in the movie you find you find out that the devil's the devil worshipper has powers. Like he could use like mind like the mind then to make his followers like kill like try to like kill himself or trying to kill others or like come to him. And later on when when the two followers went back to their master, Chris Lee's character and his friend has to go back and get them back and you see this devil worship worshiping ceremony scene when um the devil worshipper trying to baptize the two followers to the devil himself and you see the devil like with the goat head, and when I first saw that scene as a kid, as a kid, I I don't know was should I be scared or should I laugh? You know, cause 
It's the way the devil was standing. He was like this. He was like, look, like, what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> you know? But I mean in a good way. <coughs> you know? So anyway, Crystal Beast kind of sprang got into the car. And they, they drive in. He gave him a cross. You know, say, throw the cross into the go head. The go, go head, like, kind of blew up. Oh, boy. I, I am so sorry, people. I got my earphones on this time. I got the stub again. You know, I, in fact, I, today's rap will be real quick before I go on. When you review a movie, when you talk about a movie, when you do something on YouTube, right? Put something right in front of your door. Say, do not stub. I'm doing YouTube right now. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it. I need one of those things. I am going to start putting that shit on my wall. Maybe even have one of those poster signs. I might buy that. So, and anyway, we're back to what I was saying. Oh yeah, the ceremony scene when the guy through the course of the, the goat head devil, boom, poof, and then um he knocked out the devil worshiper, and then he took the two two of his friends, the the woman and the man Simon, I think his name was, and the woman Talon, I think her name was too, and then the Chris Felice character and his friend took the, put him in the car and then drove back to the house. Later on, the devil worshiper ended up going to the house, right. And then he said, I don't know where I want my two followers back. He hypnotized the woman. So I hypnotized the two devil, two, the, the two former devil worshippers because they escaped them now. And try to make them kill their friends. But later on, the, woman's, the woman who owns the house, daughter, comes in and then broke the devil worship spell. And the devil worshipper left the house telling the woman of the house that I'm going to come back. You know? And then that's when Christopher Lee's character make the circle. And to battle the double worshippers, um, spirit battle pretty much like a spirit battle thing. And once the spirit battle was over, um, they, they, they realized the daughter had been kidnapped, the woman of the house daughter had been kidnapped by the double worshipper, and she's gonna be sacrificed. So the Chris Williams friends have to go back to to the to the to a double worship's house, right, and battle him out. And later on, the recording spirit, I think it was the angel, I think it was telling herself. Oh, I'm trying to remember talent. They say talent died, but I want to ruin too much of the story because it's just going to ruin your moment, like the ended how how they set it up. I give you a little little hint. When you see Twilight Breaking Dawn Part Two, it's somewhat kind of like that, but this came before Twilight, and this is way better than Twilight Breaking Dawn Part Two. So let me say that. But yeah, you're gonna have a moment like that, like what the fuck just going on here, you know? But actually, they had the spirit battle. They um, pretty much spiritually battled the double worship by this cult and pretty much you have your happy ending when everybody survived and it was, it was great you know everybody survived happy ended moment and a static to their movie but um the devil rise out is a really good movie um you can get this anywhere um, this the, also the blu-ray version is also out in the uk um my version is actually the hammer five disc collection i think or is it four disc i guess i can't remember i ain't going back to that but anyway peace guys i'll see you later